happen. I have never seen anything like that in real life. I mean, not that that's surprising, but let me, let me explain how this happened. Yesterday, my wife and I were going for a walk on the beach and we passed a guy that said, hey, the rocket's gonna take off in 24 minutes. We knew the SpaceX facility was just south of South Padre Island, but I didn't know like it was. So we go to the beach and we're like sprinting down the beach because we have 24 minutes to get down to where we can actually see it. And we get down to the best spot we could and nothing. And we were really disappointed. We're like, well, maybe he was lying, maybe he's mistaken, who knows, whatever. We come back and we find this channel on YouTube that's live streaming it. And sure enough, yeah, they're trying to launch the rocket. So I get all my gear ready. I'm like, I'm gonna go photograph and record this inevitably, right? So go down there to the southern tip and it's like five miles from the actual rocket itself and nothing. It gets down to T minus 1.3 seconds and one of the Raptor boosters aborted itself and nothing and they said we're standing down for the day. Really disappointing, but they're like, hey, we're gonna try again tomorrow. So we go down today and you see it. I mean, it actually, like, this is crazy. Now, I'm not a big SpaceX person. I don't really know enough. A lot of, more, a lot of other people are a lot more qualified to talk about it. But my understanding is, you know, we see a launch, it's going up. I don't know, maybe a five second delay and we hear the explosion of the rockets going off and you feel the heat wave and it was, oh, just right in the face. And it was ridiculous. And it starts going, 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 going. And then a little ways up, one of the Raptor boosters, it has three Raptor booster rockets inside of it. And uh, it, one of the Raptors stops and it keeps going, keeps going. Its goal was to make it up to 12.5 kilometers straight up. And a little bit longer, you see that it starts to curve to the side and all of a sudden another Raptor booster goes off and then it's just sort of gliding to the side and then it starts to free fall. And that's what's unique about this rock is it's supposed to come in and land like that. It's supposed to be able to change. And so it's just free falling and everybody's just like, oh my gosh, like, okay, okay. And it comes down and an explosive finale. And I don't know exactly what happened. I don't understand it, but it just came in a little too hard. Maybe one of those Raptor boosters failed in the flight or whatever, but this is insane that there's this kind of advancement in space flight and to have seen it in person, I, I'm blown away. And this is a huge moment for me in terms of photography and video and all of this because this is a real life moment of the benefit of standing around for hours waiting for a moment to happen and then the reward that pays off when you actually get that moment, right? That moment will never be recreated, right? Maybe there'll be things like it in the future, but that was a one and only, and that's what's worth it, is going out and actually finding those moments. So with that said, that's all I really got. I just wanted to be able to share that with y'all. So now I'm just gonna play the entire video that I captured, or actually my very wonderful wife, Allison, captured because I was taking photos. And I'll also put some photos here at the end if you'd like to just watch the whole thing straight out for what I got. Otherwise, then thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, just, man, I <laughs> definitely a SpaceX fanboy now, man. This is, this is incredible. So hope you liked this, hope this inspired you, hope you, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it a fraction of what I did because I cannot replicate how that was in real life. But anyways, until the next one, see ya.
is. Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Thank you. 